Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Peg, nice to meet you. So what we want to talk about as Ames teed up is the new Columbia Experience course designed for juniors and it's starting this spring 2020. We worked with Ames, Jessica Jacobs, the Provost Office, Canvas folks, Rachel, um, and others who you heard about, and other faculty this past summer. Okay, so this work started last summer with several group work sessions involved here on campus with f f seven faculty members contributing. Working in two teams, we collectively ideated course concepts involving futuring Chicago. Everything from a more friendly autism spectrum world to transportation and public spaces. Uh, students from across the college work in teams modeling entrepreneurial thinking. In class, they collaboratively, collaboratively tackle the idea of futuring Chicago from many approaches that shape into one direction. But what about DEI? DEI considerations frame the solution grounded in research and reflection of the past to envision a more equitable future. So how do we do this over the summer? I remind you it was summer. So what we did, it actually worked pretty well despite frequently being in three different locations and sometimes three different states. So what we did is we used our entrepreneurial mindset and um, met in person, but most often we Zoomed, we document shared and all that. It allowed everybody to have life, work on other things, and for me, start raising a brand new puppy. <laughs> Each team was provided a packet of DEI resources. Each of these resources offer in-class or homework activities where questions around DEI can be openly discussed, used to evaluate questions associated with the specific topic, or used to guide self-reflection and enhance further dialogue. Right, besides the DEI mod resources, we're using Jessica's modules, which are kind of summarized here that show highlights of what the entrepreneur is thinking. In addition, our particular trio all engages in entrepreneurial thinking regularly in our classrooms already using design thinking, ideation, iteration, project management, and more. So we're trying to layer in our perspective on top of all of Jessica's wonderful resources and um, perspectives. We will also be including um, materials from our experiences uh, teaching entrepreneurial minded courses, as Peg mentioned, um, such as Simon Sinek's Leaders Eat Last and Project Management Guides. We'll also turn to some other resources for ideation and design thinking exercises, including this Concept Maker app, which is one of my personal favorites. When people get stuck, it just kind of jump starts your brain. So, how will this really work? The way that every class is different, but they'll work as we already regularly do in fashion business and communication and IAM. So we're gonna break the students in every course into smaller like mini teams and working with faculty guiding them. In each case, they'll bring that mindset, conduct creatively driven secondary and primary research, concept, iterate, and revise, right? It's not a one and done in um, a group set setting. So we narrowed our thinking to two civic-minded needs topics. Right, one course focuses on young people experiencing homelessness, especially here in Chicago and the surrounding DEI issues. The other focuses on food inequities, including food deserts, health issues, and education to examine the disparities in Chicago neighborhoods. In both these courses, students will begin by learning via secondary resources. So that might be videos, podcasts, articles, both from the popular press, trade press, as well as uh, scholarly articles. And then they quickly move into primary research as small teams and large groups involving site visits and interviews. Um, so it might be everything from the Center on Halstead and Night Ministry to here in Chicago, the Chicago Food Policy Summit is occurring, or things like Fresh Moves Mobile Market. So here's an example of one week which starts with slides and excer ex excerpts from uh, articles and compiled survey data specific to Chicago or from other urban communities. Slides are followed by video and discussion. In this week, there is an in-class reflection, entrepreneurship, homework modules uh, and team project de deliverables. To help student teams begin the ID depression, we'll do as we often do in our classes already using entrepreneurial thinking. We'll look at some best practices to help them shape some ideas and we'll make sure that they're multimodal so they work the way that students learn best. So podcasts, case videos, readings. And these are a few examples that for both courses. 
These classes will continually reinforce the idea of teams who research and form ideas, discuss and evaluate, and iterate repeatedly until they arrive at a viable solution. Using this format of rinse and repeat, better prepares students for a career where multiple stakeholders contribute ideas towards a better product or solution. Individuals in these classes will be tasked with weekly homework modules followed by quizzes to assess their learning. In addition, teams will learn to create Gantt charts to measure outputs and hold team members accountable, and will layer in some team building improv work where necessary. Okay, so for the final project, what do these small teams arrive at? We'll be setting aside two classroom days for team presentations and their video cases, which showcase their thinking process, their strategic insights, and their proposed solution. They will also provide a hard copy of their pitch deck, detailing who did what to help with the grading process. So what the heck might be some of the solutions and ideas that they're proposing? Well, for the food equity course, it could be an app uh, that you see here that helps find clean food and organics, a food truck partnering with industry, or even a community-based initiative such as meal prep kits that the neighborhood collectively designs. Right, and on a similar note, for the young people experiencing homelessness course, solutions could focus on another wide array of solutions. Maybe it's a student shelter, as students are doing at other schools. Maybe it's a possible career skilling build building cafe employing young adults experiencing homeless. Or it might even be proposed art installations to build awareness as a part of your team and work. Innovation and impact not only highlights the potential among teams working together to tackle future in Chicago, but it also supports individual growth in assessing issues of DEI with students from across the college while also practicing entrepreneurial thinking in a team environment. So what happens the last week of class? It's kind of a fun and reflective day. We're purposely putting the weight of the final presentations before the last week, noting that there's team projects and final exams in their major. So that day, we'll be doing? Um, we'll use the last week for a final peer evaluation, self-assessment, and course recommendations. And we will have some feasting, because it's food equity. Um, and then lastly, we thank you for your we attention. We thank you. <laughs> for and your James and Rebecca. Extended attention on right. this. Uh... Sorry, we're a little extra long. <laughs>